Hey friends, this is Tamara Rubin, Let's Save Mama, letssavemama.com, and I'm here today to talk to you about Beyblades. And I get these questions all the time. So here's a here's a Beyblade. It's the Beyblade Burst Surge, and here it says eight plus. And on the back it says not for children under three. So um, those are two warnings that come with it. And the piece that everyone asks me about that they have questions about is this piece right here. It looks like a flying saucer. It's the it's the weight inside, and people are you know reasonably concerned that it might have unsafe levels of lead. The reason for this is because it's heavy and it's a gray metal, and sometimes after use and wear and corrosion, it's a dull gray metal. And so I wanted to share with you today testing the metal part of the Beyblade with a lead check swab. So here's a lead check swab. This is a home test kit. If you have one of these at home, there's powder and liquid in a plastic vial and each of, there's two little glass vials inside the plastic vial inside the paper sheath. And you snap it and shake it. And then when you do that correctly, it's orange on the inside. And then you take the um, orange solution and you kind of squeeze it out onto the item you're testing. So there's a drop that comes out. It takes a little squeezing sometimes. You have to do it pretty quickly too so it dries, it doesn't dry up. Um, See so the orange and you rub it. And I'm just going to squeeze a little more and rub it. So in general, I tell people you can't really test um, consumer goods using a lead check swab because the lead check swabs were not designed for testing consumer goods. Um, the one thing that happens though, I'm trying to get this to show that. So right now it's it's basically it's negative. It's not bright pink. If you've seen the other things I've shown, uh, a lead result will be bright pink. This is kind of a dirty. It's almost a purple color and it's actually a little pinkish, but it's hard to see on the screen. Um, but it's not bright pink like you would expect if an item has lead. And just so you know, the Beyblade here is actually about over 900,000 parts per million zinc. And then it also tests positive for gold and platinum. Crazy. I think they help um, harden the zinc or, or make the finish harder or something along those lines. So I just want to show you that, and I've tested like a million of these. I mean, I don't know how many literally, but quite a few because I get this question often. People just want to confirm. But the Beyblade brand, brand products are going to generally be lead free. I just want to show you. And then the plastic bits, those are generally going to also be lead free. The only concern in something like this is if there's a battery powered component where there are button batteries and button batteries can have lead and if there's a button battery that has a light or something attached to it i believe this one does although i haven't turned it on yet um then that component could have lead in the in the button battery um so you definitely want to keep those away from little kids anyway so that's all that's using lead check swab to show you that uh, this, which tested with an XRF, also confirms are, these are lead-free and not a concern when you're giving them to your children. So I encourage these as a toy. I think they're very fun and creative and uh, the kids can come up with their own battles and they put them together in different ways. And the only problem is when parents step on them and they hurt your feet <laughs> as they tend to be all over the floor at some point. All right, thanks for watching. Let's Save Mama, TamaraRubin.com, Let's Save Mama.com, and more videos coming up. Let me know if you have questions. I'll try my best to answer them personally.